if you look at the genealogy of Silicon Valley, um, it's all guys who've mentored uh, different people through the years. Keith is my mentor. He is my friend. Sometimes he's my spiritual godfather. We met uh, at GM Fanuc Robotics back in the uh, 80s. I was a high school co-op student and uh, Keith was a young vice president. In the early days, I didn't realize what Keith was doing, but from a mentor-mentee perspective, what I saw Keith doing with me was getting me uh, comfortable with doing things that I might not necessarily be comfortable with. Right? New experiences, learn new things, right? take on challenges. Keith's style and kind of what he's taught me is you know, motivation through inspiration is more powerful than motivation through intimidation. Uh, I had a great mentor um, for many years. He's still, he's still a mentor to me, but when I was CEO of Ariba, I'm in my late 30s, early 40s, John Chambers, CEO of Cisco, and I would meet with him every uh, month for breakfast. And I remember the first time I, w I went in there, and he's from West Virginia, he goes, Keith, you can ask me any question, any question you want. You know, things that you can't ask your board of directors or your executive staff. Nobody understands that at home. And he and I did. He was great. And I remember about a year into it, it looks like there's something on He goes, Keith, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? He goes, matter of fact, John, I was actually thinking that. Because we've been doing it for a year. He goes, I'll tell you why. Because you see, when I came out, from Boston, I was working at Wang. I came out of Silicon Valley. I didn't know stuff from Shinola. And you see, somebody did it for me. His name was Lou Platt. He was the CEO of HP. God bless his soul. And he goes, I asked him the same question. I said, Lou, why are you doing this for me? He goes, we well, see, because somebody did it for me. So, you know, John Chambers goes, so Keith, I don't ask for anything in return. I just ask that you do this for other people and you pay it for. And he goes, Keith, that is the magic of Silicon Valley. And by the way, that analogy is true for Sigma Chi.